The following documents and recordings are the sixth instalment in a compilation detailing the events the repair team sent to Outpost Freestead, consisting of Dr. Rosa Della Torre, Walter Heath, Graham Kasner, Dr. Karina Schumacher Weiss, and Jonas Thorninson. In the winter months, gale storms in Svalbard can reach wind speeds of 130 km per hour. Accompanied by or following snowfall, such storms can reduce visibility dramatically more so in the winter months of the polar night. During these storms, travel is not advised. The White Vault. Following the previous instalment, the assessment and repair team are happy to see Dr. Schumacher Weiss awake after her injury and set off for a day in the bunker as the storm whips around their small outpost in the Svalbard wilderness. This first record for this instalment is a piece of personal writing from the notepad of Dr. Della Torre. Me tranquiliza que Karina haya despertado. Había momentos en lo que pensé que nunca lo haría. Me de... I am relieved that Karina has awoken. There were moments where I thought she never would. I was worried from the very beginning that we shouldn't have moved her from the cave to the bunker. When we got back to a medical facility with the proper equipment, I have told her she should get the proper scans. I will be there to make sure of it. We gave her one of the walking poles as a poor substitute for a crutch, but her ankle is the least of my worries. She has trouble recalling the time around the fall and is acting dissimilar to her previous self in small ways. When questioned about the fall, she says she jumped, that something was up there. Skinny, black, and blurry, perhaps furry? Graham cannot identify any animal in the area like that. Karina fell asleep on the sofa in the common room. She didn't feel like hopping back down the hall so late last night. Graham and I took advantage of this, and now I'm awake in the middle of the night because he snores like a wild boar. I was having unpleasant dreams anyway, so I'll forgive the noise. I've been a lot of places so far, and Graham speaks highly of Russia, if you like the cold. Apparently, he's a Russian-Canadian, so maybe that chilly personality is part of his blood. I, though, cannot wait to see sun and hot sands again. Maybe go for a swim. This storm seems so much louder at night without talking, drinking, laughing, and movies to drown out the noises. There are windows here, but they are narrow and almost always covered with snow. It's like some gray mass of endless winter outside, and we sit waiting, trying to find an opportunity to head home. I have done several jobs on Svalbard over the last few years, and never have I seen a storm go on for so long. I should have brought another book. The following is a recording from the station transmitter's built-in recorder. I thought you were trying to get this open, Walter. I was. I give up. I've been trying to pry it open for an hour, and I'm all out of patience and coffee. I'm moving on to other projects. I can make more coffee. Yes, please. Some for me as well, please, Jonas. What are you looking at now, Walter? That file you showed us, the odd recording. I have an idea to hopefully make it slightly more understandable. I have a digital audio workspace application available on my computer. I just have to reinstall it. I used to use it years ago to make funny videos and songs for Molly. You got it off my phone? Yes, I transferred the file, wires and all. Your phone's a relic. I like to think of it as sturdy, thank you. Fine. <sighs> I wake up then. Everyone's just going to talk over me. Sorry, Karina, <sighs> but you cannot keep us from our coffee. Coffee? Yes, please. This is Walter Heath at Outpost Freestead, approximately 33 kilometers northeast of Neolison, south of the border to the National Park. I'm reaching out for seizure group and possible rescue services in Neolison. Our repair team has completed the assignment. A storm has stranded us here for over a week. Looking for confirmation and information. Anyone please respond. 
Have you heard anything back yet? I just started. That's true. I'm recording the whole thing this time, though. If that odd response happens again, I won't miss it. Do you mind if I take a look at that? Be my guest. But if you manage to open that box, it better be right here next to me. I'm not missing it. Ah, it's so smooth. Like old marble carvings, but so much more. Colorful? Yes, exactly. Oh, thank you. Thank you. What is it? Mm. Educated assumption? Pegmatite. Oh, thanks. See the larger sections of included crystal and bands of change? Yeah, those. The grey looks like quartz and the white mostly plagioclast. The black is probably biotide. But those interesting colors... No, the other side. Those, yeah. Those interesting pink colors there. I would guess as albite tourmaline. Colorful, not as common. I saw no natural source for this rock type during my short time in the cave system, though. Anything valuable? In the stone? Well, certain forms of albite are considered very valuable. Large albite crystals are highly sought after for jewelry and their wonderful appeal. Great colors. Maybe that's what's in the box. The uh, storm is worse today. Are we going back to the village? <clears throat> I can't get the door open. Are we trapped here? Oh, not so dramatic. The wind is particularly heavy currently. That's a no, then? For now. This is Walter Heath at Outpost Freestead, approximately 33 kilometers northeast of Neolison, south of the border to the National Park. I'm reaching out for seizure group and possible rescue services in Neolison. Anyone, please respond. Did you leave any hot water, Kessler? Enough. Perhaps it's a puzzle box. There may be a way aside from brute force to opening the box. It is hollow, and I do agree that it must be a seam. Have you seen any buttons or indentations? I don't see any. Not enough hot water. Not yet, anyway. Are you still trying to open that? Seemingly so. Uh, I'm going to take account of our stores left in the bunker. This group drinks coffee copiously. Would you like some coffee? Idle chatter continues on the recording for some time, but the team rarely brings up the box, recordings, village, or Karina's incident. The recording continued on for several hours while the individual members of the team went about their day. Three hours after the previous recording, the following occurred. This is some weird shit. What was that? You need to hear this. You too, Rosa. Did you get another response on the radio? No, I've been working on the audio file Jonas took on his phone, trying a couple of tricks to clear it up. I've done my best. You played that. Well, you certainly made it more disturbing. Exactly. That sounded like people, right? And someone, I don't know, dying? Yes. Oh, Kessner! Don't just sneak up on people! What's wrong with you? I didn't. How do the supplies look, Graham? Well, with everything in here and the stuff I stored in the auxiliary bunker when we first arrived, we're good for another week, minimum. <laughs> Except for coffee. Well, we will need to get back to civilization before that catastrophe. <sighs> Excuse me. I'm sure the water is hot enough, and I know. I need to wash that sound out of my ears. Can you make the recording any clearer than that? Not with what I've got. The recording off your phone added more background noise than it had just coming over the radio. And the other recordings from the radio don't have as much content. Uh, I'm sorry. I forgot how to record on the transmitter. It's a skill. That's why you pay me. Very true, Mr. Heath. Well, now that you have that audio, what's your plan? I didn't know I needed a plan. I just have an audio file and lots of free time. Well, we can't rule it out as just strange interference now. I've heard people scream a lot in my line of work. Bad things, sad things, but that. Oh, that sounded like a bad thing. Agreed. Now, I understand I don't know a lot about this whole transmitter. Uh... There were clues to such. 
Is there some way to trace where it came from? No, sadly, absolutely not. It's a single radio transmission recorded on a phone run through what is, in all practicality, a music editor on my laptop. I'm not some magic hacker wizard from a movie. It's a recording. I'm using freeware. I did what I could. When's the last time you sent out the outgoing message? <sighs> this is Walter Heath at Outpost Freestead, approximately 33 kilometers northeast of New Orleans, south of the border to the National Park. I'm reaching out for seizure group and possible rescue services in New Orleans. Our repair team has completed the assignment. A storm has stranded us here for over a week. Anyone, please respond. Shit. Get out. Out. Leaving, leaving. If she doesn't want all of us getting worried, she shouldn't scream like she's seen a banshee. She was in pain and fell over. I don't think she was thinking about how she would scream. She could get a more appropriate splint for that ankle if we were able to return to Neil Lesser. This storm isn't letting up. She's fine. She just fell. Perhaps next time not everyone should run into the tiny bathroom. This is the repair team at Outpost Freestead, approximately 33 kilometers northeast of Neolison, south of the border to the National Park, reaching out for seizure group and rescue services in Neolison. A storm has stranded us here for over a week. Anyone, please respond. I do wish you'd be more careful, though. I'm still concerned regarding what damage I cannot assess without the proper equipment. Have you noticed anything worrisome regarding her condition? The memory loss surrounding the fall is concerning, and she seems less attentive than before. She could be just distracted, but it's dissimilar to her previous observant state. Or she's pouting. She's a grown woman. I don't think she pouts. Yeah, no, my daughters act the same way when they get hurt. When one of them broke their arm, she didn't concentrate for days. Did she stop sulking? Yeah, of course. She's a child. She found something else more important, and down the line the bone healed. She got really interested in Egyptian stuff. Lots of kids do. Yes, but I don't think a fascination with Egypt is going to fix Karina's mental state. No, it won't. Fine. Just tired. I'm going to bed. I'll see you all tomorrow. Good night. No dinner? Not unless we are cooking up soup and maltashin tonight. I have a real craving. Carrots, peas, potatoes, and canned fish, I'm afraid. See, and thus, I bid you all good enough. The recording continued, consisting mostly of Jonas, Walter, and Rosa discussing which movie to watch. The next document comes from the personal journey of Dr. Schumacher Weiss, found in the unzipped side pocket of her personal pack. Rolf, ich habe solche Angst. Ich, ich weiß nicht, was hier los ist, aber, aber da war eine schwarze Gestalt. Rolf, I'm anxious and afraid. I, I don't understand what's happening, but there was a field that I know. It was there and it came for me, out there in the village, on that ledge. And Rolf, I... I'm so sorry, but I, I jumped. I leapt from that ledge. I didn't even second guess my actions. My memories are foggy and, and disjointed, sure, yes, but I'm, I'm sure I, I saw it. It was there and it, it was reaching for me. It did, Rolf. It, it was there. Uh, and I'm afraid it's here too. I'm so scared. Uh, I was in the shower here. I think that it is following me. It's, it's not the same though, but I, I, I can feel it, like a crawl up my spine, or a reflection in the glass. I, I know it sounds crazy, Rolf, I, I understand that, but, but please, you have to believe me. It was, it was in the shower with me, or my mind is far more damaged than I would ever like to believe. The air felt so heavy, oppressive. The water turned to tar against my skin. I could see it thick as pitch in my pants and hair. Fed it lump like clay sludge against my skin. Stink like fetid fish and sulfur as it filled my lungs with humid air. I can still smell it now. I could feel it. 
feel it as I fell and screamed. But then Rosa rushed in and all that remained there was me, frightened and crazed, lying on the bathroom floor. I... I lied to her. I... I didn't know what to say when she looked at me and... I blamed it on my ankle. She's such a kind soul. She only cares for my well-being. But there was nothing in that shower with me. How could I have made her believe me? I'm so scared it's all in my head. But at the same time, I'm more frightened it's real. What if it's real? I may have hit my head. I may have seriously injured myself. Perhaps everything I've seen since has been in my own head. But I know I jumped. And the others, they have this, this uh, audio recording. And... The things on it, the, the chanting, screaming, it's awful. It grates on my ears and makes my eyes itch. And when I heard it, it tightened my stomach as would have vice or great loss. <laughs> I hope you're okay, Rolf, please. The shower may not have been real. The reflections, the, 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 the tar. But the recording was heard by others. I know I jumped from something, and of that no one can convince me otherwise. The following comes from the personal audio recording file on Mr. Heath's laptop. This audio file was one of only a few given a name. Fuck that box. Just do it the way I showed you before. Hit that button, then hold down the switch. This is Outpost Freestead, uh, approximately 33 kilometers northeast of Niala 7, south of the border to the National Park. There's been a strong storm here for over a week. Niala 7, please respond. Well, that was how it works. It is so easy to forget. It takes practice. The smaller radios are far easier, just click and go. Rosa, what are you doing? What? I'm intrigued. Maybe Jonas was right. Perhaps it's like a puzzle box. I'm just looking for switches. It appears solid. You want to try the screwdriver? Maybe in a short while. It sounds like a jewelry box. Karina said there's quartz in the rock composition. The rock box. Maybe just that. A rock box with, uh, you know, rocks in it. Oh, like those geodes with the hollow middles. Oh, those are gorgeous. My brother has one. It's a blue and white thing. Made it into a lamp. <laughs> Hand me that screw <laughs> Yeah. Uh, let me try. Huh? Ah, take it. I'm hungry. Mm, the sound and the weight. It isn't solid throughout. Anyone want seconds? Potatoes, please. This is Walter Heath at Outpost Freestead, approximately 33 kilometers northeast of Neolison, south of the border to the National Park. Crea, I'm reaching out for seizure here? group and possible Wait, rescue. Ah, really go. Okay, he broke it. It's open. Hitting it with a hammer would tend to do that. R Rosa, is that a tooth? That's a tooth. That's a fucking tooth. Don't touch it. That them. Don't touch them. Fuck, they're human. And that? Uh, what's that? Who puts human teeth in a box? Shit, there were hundreds of these things there. Hundreds of boxes. Rosa, do you know what that is? Oh, that's disgusting. Rotting fruit. <coughs> Graham, don't touch it. Jonas, get a bag. Plastic from the drawer. Oh, what is that? Careful, you're about to step on a tooth. Where's that bag, Jonas? It looks shriveled. Well, hearts don't tend to keep their shape once put in stone boxes. Holy fuck, a heart? A human one? We, we were walking over that thing. The, the teeth. Here's the bag. Thanks. Get the dustpan. Sweep up all the teeth you can find. Rock too. Put it all in the bag. Maybe, uh, maybe they're like uh, canopic jars, like you know, Egypt. Heart in one stomach in another, and th there were so many boxes though. Rosa, the whole floor under that table. Shit, Kasna, you made a human heart. I didn't make it. it. It was in there the whole time. I was holding it. I shook it. Where should we put it? The drawer for now, on the bottom. We can tell Karina later. Let her rest for now. Hand me a bottle, huh? 
Is now really the best time for a drink? What? Do you think the heart will be offended? <laughs> I'm, uh, I, I'm gonna watch a movie. Anyone who wants to forget this unfortunate turn of events is, of course, free to join. Oh, I see we found the alcohol. What should we do with it? We can't leave it in the outpost. <sighs> Whatever needs to be done, it's not happening tonight. The last note found from that night before everyone's retirement for the evening was a small personal note written by Mr. Thorninson. I get it all for you. Hold on, Mr. Thorninson. Minus the mule and stood high on the issue. Everything is for them. I even noted the possibility for promotions due to this, but I just don't want to come here again. I'll stay in Iceland, Norway, maybe even a few visits to partners in Sweden and everywhere else, but Swapa can just disappear from my map. The box I found in the villas has a heart inside. Human heart and teeth. Hope this storm lifts soon, once everything is done here. Another idea for the girl's birthday. Hot chocolate party. This concludes those documents, related to the day the group opened the stone box and completes the sixth collection of information regarding the repair team at Outpost Freestead. The White Vault, 